leave God, and, and here we are today getting justice again. Reaction to the guilty verdict for former Tulsa County Reserve Deputy Robert Bates. Good evening, I'm Karen Larson. I'm Brian Sanders. We begin tonight with an update to breaking news we brought you live during our 6 o'clock newscast. A jury finds Robert Bates guilty of second degree manslaughter and recommends the judge sentence the 74 year old to four years in prison. Our team coverage begins tonight with two works for reporter Darcy Jackson. She is live at the Tulsa County Jail where Bates sits behind bars right now. Darcy. Well, Karen Bryan, once that guilty verdict was handed down, Robert Bates was led away in handcuffs and taken straight here to the county jail. His attorneys say an appeal is coming, but right now the district attorney's office says justice is served. The common sense uh, about it is really what uh, probably carried the day. Prosecutors say the verdict wouldn't have been possible without video from the undercover sting that's been played over and over. It changed what defense was available. It made it very clear what had happened. Um, it also, I think, made it simpler for folks to understand. He didn't make any complaints. And Mr. Harris had no issues at all. He, he was on the ground wrestling uh, with Deputy Vaca. But it wasn't until he was shot that he starts complaining about the fact that he was shot. Well, the next step is to continue to uh, fight as hard as we can. Uh, we thought we had a very good run in the courtroom. Defense attorney Clark Brewster says he still believes Bates is innocent and says an appeal is already in the works. We thought that the witnesses presented uh, would make it clear that this was uh, an accident. Uh, and uh, I'm disappointed in the result, but I respect the process. The jury recommended four years in prison for Bates, a sentence the state believes is justice for Eric Harris's family and for the people of Tulsa. We tried to do what we have an ethical obligation as prosecutors to do, file the charge that we believe is appropriate based on the facts, and then prosecute the heck out of it. And that's exactly what we did. Now Bates will be formally sentenced next month. He's here in jail without bond, and he will continue to stay here even throughout any future appeals processes. In downtown Tulsa, Darcy Jackson, Two Works for You.